<laughs> you see? I did. Parker is four. He's pretty much a rock star. He's a cool little guy and just um, has so much to offer the world. And we're really blessed to have him. Parker has something called Neiman Pick Type C. Kids with Neiman Pick Type C or NPC as it's called, they'll slowly lose their ability to um, walk, to um, speak. They, you know, can't swallow anymore. They, um, a lot of kids require a feeding tube. So that's why people refer to it as childhood Alzheimer's because it's very similar in that degree as you lose your, your your ability to do so many of the functions that we take for granted. The drug that he started and is currently on since then is called Adrobetadex. And um, it is something he gets it via IV. He has a, a port in his chest that he's had since he was six months. And so he gets um, twice monthly infusions with it. And it, it's an absolute miracle drug. I mean, you don't, you don't go from a child needing a liver transplant to being perfectly healthy and running around like he does. He's writing and he colors and, um, you know, he plays dinosaurs and he's able to feed himself. So to, to imagine those things going away is, is heartbreaking and un unimaginable. So it's, it's terrifying to think that this, this drug would go away. So the company sent a letter out um, a few months ago and just out of nowhere just told us that they had decided that they were going to no longer pursue having it approved by the FDA, um, which was a huge blow and shock to everyone in the MPC community. Um, and so my hope is that someone sees that there are results out there that weren't included in the data that was submitted to the FDA and that um, they take all, all these things that us as parents are saying as not being anecdotal or not being outliers, that, that these things are real. You know, we're not imagining it. We spend every day with our kids. We see the difference. So we're fighting for the chance to show that the drug does work. And so we hope that somebody gives us that chance instead of just taking it away and saying, you know, good luck, you're on your own and then you just watch your children decline. Um, I mean, if you can imagine, that's hard to picture. You know, going from what Parker is today to, to being in a wheelchair and not speaking and not being able to feed himself and then eventually dying. So that's, that's the end point for this.